This video is about clotting time. What is clotting time? Clotting time is a test that is used to measure the time required for the blood to coagulate in vitro under standard conditions. In this test, the clotting time test, the blood is drawn from the person and then it is assessed for that how much time it will take for the blood to clot. So basically this test is used to detect the functions of the platelets and the other clotting factors because the platelets and the, some other clotting factors they are involved in the clotting mechanisms and they will prevent the excessive bleeding from the body. So this test is also recommended by physicians before the surgery to check the clotting mechanism or to check the clotting time. So the clotting mechanism and the clotting time, this clotting time is measured by two methods. The two methods can be used, any one of them can be used to assess the clotting time. One is the capillary tube method and other is the test tube method. First, let's see the procedure for the capillary tube method. So capillary tube method, let's see first of all the requirements that which things are required to perform this procedure. It will require the following things, the sterile lancet to make the prick, that three millimeter deep prick. It will also require the capillary tubes, spirit swap and stopwatch. So what is the procedure for this capillary tube method? Let's see. First of all, the fingertip is cleaned with the spirit swap to avoid the infection. And then a prick is made by the help of the lancet. As soon as the prick is made, the bleeding will start from the fingertip. When the bleeding will start from the fingertip, start the stopwatch. After the stopwatch is start, then capillary tube is placed at the, at the bleeding, then the blood will automatically enter into the capillary tube. Then the capillary tube will automatically fill up with the blood. Then the capillary tube, after some time, uh, with the interval of 60 to 30 seconds, the capillary tube is broken down to check for the formation of the clot or the formation of the fibrin. Then step by step, this capillary tube is broken down after uh, several time, after, after 60 to 70 seconds, this capillary tube is broken down until the clot formation appears. So the, a time will come when you broke the capillary tube step by step, then at, after some time, after a mm, the time will come that you will see the fibrin formation or the clot formation in the capillary tube. As soon as you see the fibrin formation or the fibrin thread in the capillary tube, the stopwatch is stopped. And the stopwatch is stopped and the time is noted. That time indicates the clotting time for that person. The other method is the Lee and White method. Lee and White method also known as test tube method and also known as Winnie puncture method. Lee and White method, it also has the following requirements. It needs the following things, plastic syringes, alcohol swab, tourniquet, stopwatch, test tubes, and also requires the autoclave and a uh, water bath. So the water bath is set for the temperature of 37 degrees centigrade so that it has, the, uh, it has to provide the temperature just same as the human body temperature. So this water bath is already prepared and set at 37.5 degrees. Let's see the procedure for the Lee and White method, which is also known as the test tube method and also known as the Veni Pincher method. So the tourniquet is applied to the upper arm and the blood is drawn from the anticubital vein. So the blood that is drawn, it must be four ml blood is drawn from the anticubital vein. Then the test tubes are already prepared, which are already numbered as one, two, and three. Three test tubes are prepared and that are numbered according to one, two, three. As soon as the blood is drawn from the syringe into the test tube, the stopwatch is started. So stop, the stopwatch will start and then the blood are poured into the three different test tubes. So the water bath is already prepared at 37 degrees centigrade for the, these tubes to be placed into the water bath so that it provides the same temperature as of the human body. So the, one, the blood are placed in these test tubes. So they are placed in the water bath um, and they are checked at the different intervals. These tubes are then checked for the clotting after every 30 to 60 seconds, they are tilted at 90 degree 
to check for the clotting. So they are checked and they are tilted for the clotting after every 60 seconds or after every 30 seconds until there is the clot formation. As soon as you see the clot formation, then the stopwatch is stopped and that time is noted. Then the time noted for this clotting time will indicate the clotting time for that person. So as the time noted for the clotting time, the average or the normal clotting time for the person that the blood, the, the blood that takes the normal time for the person, for the normal person to clot, that is the four to 10 minutes. And if the clotting time exceeds from this time, or if it is much more prolonged, the clotting time for the Lee and White method will also range up to 15 minutes. But if this range or these values for the clotting time that it takes more time for the blood to clot, and if the blood does not clot for such a prolonged time, then it will be an indication, indication of certain pathologies. So the abnormal results or the abnormal values or the abnormal time for the blood to clot will indicate certain diseases. That will be indication of the certain diseases include thrombocytopenia. In thrombocytopenia, there is the decreased platelet count. So if there is deficiency of platelets, then the blood will not be able to clot and there will be increased clotting time or abnormal clotting time. There is the other hemophilia, hemophilia in which this, there is the deficiency of certain clotting factors. Von Willebrand disease in which the Von Willebrand factor that is involved in the clotting is deficient. The other is vitamin K deficiency. Vitamin K is also involved in the clotting. So vitamin K deficiency will also lead to the prolonged clotting time and will also lead to the clotting deficiencies. Heparin therapy, as heparin is involved in certain uh, coagulation therapies, uh, in, in, in coagulation therapies, so heparin therapy will also be anticoagulant therapy there involved. So heparin therapy may also lead to cause the prolonged uh, clotting time. The other is the anemia and leukemia. As anemia and leukemia are the blood diseases, so if there is the decreased production of blood and that will ultimately lead to the decreased production of platelets, so they will also affect the clotting of the blood.